So one of the first things that we want to be able to figure out, we know that there's a lot of parts to this course and this challenge, but I'm going to be breaking this down in terms of my thought process so you can kind of see um, how I would go about solving the problem and also how I worked with students when we had first legally. Because what they want to do is, what we're looking at here is the starting point, right? We know we got to get this cuboid and we got to move it. And if I move this camera here, we know that we got to do all the things, right? Getting to that target and then align the following and then getting to the end point. And so our eyes get really big. One of the first things we need to do is break this down. So using computational thinking, we would chunk this down and we would look at all the parts to all the things that we have to do and make a list. And then we work on it sequentially. So what's the first thing that we have to do? We know that we're going to have to start here, this black piece of tape, and we've got to be able to reach this black piece of tape in order to reach the cuboid. So the very first thing that students or even our own thinking goes to is, well, how are we actually going to move that cuboid? We actually even want to take one step further back. Before we get there, we want to make sure that we have a robot that can go straight. If you're using the drive base from all the previous lessons, if you're using the robot trainer unit, uh, you know that that one goes pretty straight. But this is a challenge where I want to encourage you to maybe design your own robot. Just like First Lego League, just like we're going to expect kids to do, we want them to design a robot from scratch. So the beauty of robotics is not just teaching coding, but also teaching the engineering of how to build a functional robot. So we want to be able to build a robot that can move straight. And so this is what I've done. I've built a robot here. Um, that you'll be able to see here throughout the course of time. And what I want to do is just make sure it can move straight. I'm not concerned if it gets to cuboid or not. I'm not concerned about any of the other things at this point because I can go through and make some modifications. Um, but I know that I, I need a couple things on my robot. And so before I, I test it to, to go straight, I know that I need to use the gyro sensor. So I've got that placed here. I also know that I want to use the ultrasonic sensor to detect the final object. And I also want to use color sensors. And so I have those installed. And then I'm using the gyro ball and two wheels for movement. And so I have those placed, knowing that I might have to move and modify it a little bit. But for the most part, the base here is assembled. So what I want to do now is just run some code to see if my robot actually will move straight. So let's dive over to the code and just turn on our motors just to see if the robot will actually move straight. That is the first part of this, being able to move somewhat smooth, somewhat straight before we get into any of the other nuances. So this is what I've done here. I've just ran a simple program and I'm not gonna walk through every single step. By this point, you should know where the basic movement blocks are. I've got my movement motors identified to A and D um, because I'm using different ones than the, the standard BC, uh, which will make sense here in just a little bit. I want my movement speed to be somewhat low, so I'm using 25%. I don't want to go 50% full threshold uh, for this first test. I have my, my motors actually built to go backwards. So in order to go forward, I have to move the wheels backward motion because I have them pointing um, in the opposite direction. And I'm just going to turn this on for five rotations. Again, I'm not worried about achieving lines. I'm not worried about anything else. I just want to see can I actually go straight um, for five rotations for the most part. So a real simple code here that I'm just going to run to see if my robot will actually do this. So let's bounce back over and uh, see how it performs. So I'm just working here, making sure that this black piece of tape I have is close to the same setup every single time. So I'm using the back left motor and the wheel as a guide to kind of create a, a 90 degree angle that I can set up on the, on the corner piece of tape. And then I'm just going to go ahead and run the program and actually see how this performs. And so I'm going to slide this camera over because you won't be able to see all five rotations.
All right, so I can see here that it moved pretty smooth, pretty straight. So I think I'm in good shape. If I had some things that were off, I would look for weight distribution. I would look for drag on the ground. I would look for maybe debris on the tires um, and just make sure that I didn't have anything that was causing the robot to kind of glide to the right or to the left. So now that I know that that's good, I'm now going to go after the first task, which is to capture the cuboid, which you can see um, I luckily had some success with. So we'll break that down here in the next video. But step number one, a robot that moves straight. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.